Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. In this video, we will talk about cohorts in Moodle. A cohort is basically a collection of users which you can use for bulk actions. So you could, for example, enroll a cohort with 100 users in it in a course rather than enrolling all 100 users individually. In other words, cohorts make your life on Moodle a lot easier. One more thing to understand about cohorts is the difference to groups. Cohorts can be used site-wide. So you can use one cohort to enroll students in several courses because no matter where you are on your site, you always have access to cohorts. While groups can only be used within the course that the group has been created. So if you create a group in course A, you can't access this group in course B. A cohort, however, you can access whether you are in course A or in course B or course C or whatever. I hope that makes sense because that is quite important to understand. There are a couple of ways how you can create cohorts. In this video, we will manually create one individual cohort. In another video, I will show you how to create a couple of cohorts using an Excel sheet upload. To create cohorts, you go to Site Administration, select Users from the tab, and click on Cohorts. This will give you a list of all cohorts on your site. I already have created one, which displays here. To add a new cohort, we click on Add New Cohort. First, you give your cohort a name. Don't just give the cohort a random name. It should really tell you what users you put in that cohort. Most of the times you have users of the same class put together in cohorts. So you could, for example, say January 2023, which shows this is the class that has started their studies in January 2023. This allows you then to be consistent and name the next cohort February 2023 and so on. So I'm just going to put January 2023 in here now. If you have the option for context, leave system as it is because this ensures that you can use the cohort on your entire site, so in your entire system. The cohort ID should be a unique word or number or combination. The unique ID is needed when you want to add a bunch of users to a cohort using CSV files or Excel files, which is particularly important when you add many users to your site and want them in a specific cohort. I have a video on that if you like to check that out, but for that reason it is a good idea to keep cohort IDs consistent but obviously unique. Visible means that teachers can see the cohort in their course. Unticking the box will make it invisible for teachers within the course. Visible is the default and that's okay, so leave it like it is. I personally would recommend using the description just to be clear for what purpose you have actually created this cohort, since cohorts tend to be quite similar and the names are sometimes not exact enough. So I could, for example, say this cohort contains all French students that started in January 2023, just to show myself and also other admins or other teachers what this cohort is all about. Once we're done, we click Save Changes and we can see our newly created cohort in the overview along with the other cohort. If we want to edit the cohort, we just click on the edit icon and get to the screen that we just went through. From the cohort size, we can tell that there are no users in it yet, but that's what we're going to do next. We're going to add users. We just click on the users or people icon and on the left, we can see a list of users that are part of the cohort, obviously empty at the moment. And on the right, we can see a list of potential users that we can put in the cohort. These are basically um, all the users that have an account on your Moodle site. I only have a few, so I don't have to use the search bar to look up users I want to add. But if your list is long, you would type in the name of the user here, and then you can add it to the cohort. Once you find the user, select the name. So let's say Ann Brady, and we click on the Add button. We can just do the same for another user. Let's say Peter Clay. We select the user and click Add. Both users can now be seen on the left side, which means they are part of this cohort. 
If you want to remove a user from the cohort, you select the user from the left and simply click on remove which takes the user out of the left box, which is the core box, and puts it right back into the right box, which is the potential user box. Um, a quick tip, if you want to add a few users, keep your control key on your keyboard, the CTRL key pressed, and then select the users. This would select all the users, and then we can just click Add. When you go back now to the cohort overview, you will see the cohort size is 5 because we just added 5 users to it. And this is basically pretty easy how you manually create a cohort in Moodle. Thanks a lot again for watching. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see you next time.